Hello, I'm the living cat. I'm Alex, I'm his kid. <laughs> and we had an oopsie. Just a small one. Just a small one. We're doing some adjustments to the station. And I accidentally had my lumber axe out instead of my hatchet. And ended up taking out the entire tree. Yeah. The living cat one. one. Kinda obliterated the whole tree in one swing. <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna need to do is back that train up. Like a Yeah. And remove all the pipes. And I think we're gonna plant a new tree. Okay. So. Oh. That did not go open. No, it did not. So we'll be right back with when we fix this. Our, our train is very angry at us. Where are you, you heading? I, I, I know what uh, you talk about. Where are you heading? Ah, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Alright, let's hope for a thick boy. Yeah. Alright. Ah! <laughs> 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 Well, it's not a thick boy, but... Alright. Alright. Make sure you... Take the lumber axe, right. go hang it up. <laughs> yeah, <make sure laughs> let's, let's put this away. So, what I'm thinking is maybe... Have the building and the roots wrap around the building. Yeah. That sounds... Alright then, let's get started.
could possibly set the refueling back up back here. Actually. Oh, that's a good idea. That way we only have to set it once. Mm hmm And this can all be masked by roots. So what we could do, actually, is, for the aesthetic reasons, put a water tower on top. And then have secret source as underneath. Yeah. No. I guess we're also going to want it to resupply with coal. Or we could just have that coal to do that at the factory. Yeah. Wait, no, that, this, that setup's not gonna work. Because our train's gonna be burning fuel while it's not moving. You know, and I think we're gonna need to instead put the loader here. Be down one. Oh, yeah. Should be formed right now. It's sad, I don't think it works. What? Dang. I mean, we have immersive engineering's tank. I'm but say, there's probably another tank we could use. And we can just use the good old fashioned, you know, iron tanks. Yeah. No, I know those work. Yeah, I use them all the time. I mean, back when I played, that's <laughs> what I do. Uh, tank, um, multi block that provides space for large amounts of fluid. It will store up to 500 what? 512 buckets. And it's made out of iron, sheet metal, and ore. Four treated hardwood fence. And it's got a kind of pretty nice design once it's actually formed. Yeah. Alright. Thank you. Uh, I 
engineer timer is right here. Ah! We got a tank. Stick with uh, the immersive engineering style of fluid transport. Sure. I feel like immersive engineering kind of fits the rail the railcraft. Yeah. Grab that. Uh, yes, actually. Ooh, nice. Be prepared for once. What's that? Okay, let's see if she's pumping. Okay, interface with the tank. And there's the slightest amount of water, or slight a sliver on the side, to indicate that there's some water in it. Another, another um, uh, liquid lower, loader. I do not. Okay, well, I might as well put that here. Yeah. I probably make it quick, though. This would be the pipeline that we would use along the entire rail that would connect into the flamethrowers. them first. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's funny, I'm like, let's fight when you get to the front of the Alright, well, let's call that good. Yeah. In this, I guess, half episode, as we built, got a new tree and fit, built off, started off a new rail, rail station. Yeah, I think and, it's starting off pretty nice. Yes, sir. Until then, and we'll see you soon. Maybe off camera we'll finish this off. Until next time, peace. <laughs>